Hey, hey, so it's a couple days after the Empire versus Wood Elves game, and I did want to uh, show you the armies. They are for sale. Let me tell you what's in it. All right, here's what's in it. Two steam tanks, ten pistoliers, a converted war altar, and not a bad conversion either. There's that. Lots of intricate work on it. Fifty swordsmen, ten hand gunners, 20 spears, a unit of nine knights, a commander, warrior priest on foot, another unit of hand gunners, four um, war machines, two Hawkland rifles, and um, hold on a second, and then of course the crew. So that army is being sold as one thing, and I'll provide a link for that. Here's the other part. These are all either up right now or they will be up. And these are going to be separate items. So here's what you have. You have 30 spearmen, 10 knights, another mortar, 20 great swords, five different wizards. Each and every uh, four out of the five of them have a uh, conversion work. And they're all unique to uh, certain colleges. Warrior priest on horse, a BSB a general with great hammer, a sporting unit of halberdiers, a detachment is what that's called, another unit of riflemen, another unit of riflemen, and a detachment of swordsmen, and there's a few extras floating around in there. And the army's all well put together. It's a, it's a pretty tough army. It's really just loads and loads of fun to play. It has uh, over 200 models uh, in the combined amount here and so and that that really that's really the way to go with your Empire armies. Have lots and lots of uh, your good solid core troops with the other special fun stuff to back them up. Giant is back in his home. Alright, let's take a look at these Wood Elves. Uh, these are going to be up for sale individually. And uh, this is a 2,500 point wood elf army. That's uh, the rainforest elves. Okay, uh, first you have this uh, lord on stag. This was not painted by us. It is really quite exquisite. Obviously a labor of love. Uh, that's available separately. Here's my wizard slash hero converted rainforest style. That's basically an Aztec theme using uh, lizard man bits. Here's a spell singer not painted by us, uh, but uh, she is available separately, just like everything else in here. And the reason I'm doing that and not as a whole army is because I realize that some people are going to prefer uh, GW only figures. And some people may prefer not GW figures. Like me, I am not a fan of the GW Tree Man, so I just kind of made my own thing. Here's a Tree Man Lord. That's made with a Privateer Press Colossus, excuse me, Megalith. Here's uh, two regular things I use as tree men. And they are um, converted, so they have different poses. They have some good base work on those. Here's my Spell Weaver on foot. And uh, he is really, he actually fits in quite nicely with these guys, like he's some kind of, you know, golem master. Here's uh, what I play as an altar kindred, kind of an assassin that runs around and takes care of war machines and stuff. And as you saw in the game, he can handle a unit of pikemen, certainly if uh, he uh, gets that flank charge and also um, is equipped properly. So not a bad piece to have running around. I have two units each of six uh, wild riders. These have, uh, these have actually quite a bit of conversion work done on them, not the least of which is the... Uh, golden headdresses on their horses. So two units of six, 20 uh, glade riders, and a unit of 10 dryads. Those are all on magnetic bases where needed, so uh, that is really a nice feature. So there's the plug. All of that's up for sale. I will give you the link below and you can go uh, go take a look.